You guys, today is Monday, but it's still a holiday. It's the 8th of January and I still celebrate Christmas and today I'm planning to work on my temperature blanket. So you see it here, the temperature blanket for 2023. That is my dog, that is my cat. And every time I try to film something, they decide that that's the right time to play, which is fine. I'm relaxed. I'm only planning to work on my temperature blanket today. My goal is to actually do the edge and to finish it, to clean it off, to cut all of these endings. So my plan was initially when I started this blanket in November, no, I was planning it in November of 2022, was to make a border like this with just the garter stitch in darker gray. In the meantime, <laughs> some things has happened and I used this color. I don't even know for what, I think maybe for a baby cloth, baby project. Anyway, so I don't have the yarn anymore alternatively i found in my stash this uh blue gray yarn and it's fine it doesn't bother me because the entire blanket is quite colorful and it doesn't it meshes well with the whole vibe now my question is what to do with the side uh, edges so at the at the time i was thinking that i will uh, just travel up the yarn and then do it like this but this was very hard because if i would travel up the yarn this means that i was working with four or five balls of yarn at the same time and they were getting um tangled together uh sorry they were getting tangled together it was a whole mess so i started cutting the yarn so that i can only work with two or three balls of yarn attached to the blanket at the same time and the more i worked on it the more it became longer and heavier the harder it was for me to just like have those balls of yarn attached to it to the blanket so i started to cut it so now I think I'm just going to go about the same thing that I did with the pre with the temperature blanket for my birth year. Hold on, I'll show it to you. So this is the temperature blanket for my birth year. I made the weaved basket uh, stitch and the sides were with seed stitch and the border was I took a crochet, hold on. I took my crochet and I just collected all the all the ends and pulled it all together and added in this crochet and after i washed it and blocked it it spread so beautifully and evenly so it's a darker color border so i want to do the same obviously i cannot maybe i can obviously i was gonna say obviously i cannot do it here but maybe i could crochet this part and then just like crochet it in around well my intention now is to crochet with some leftovers that i have and i think the biggest uh, leftover is this uh, beige which i don't think i need for other projects so i'm thinking to use it completely here so i will pull out the beige yarn i will find my handy dandy crochet and start working because my objective is that today Whilst there's a storm outside, whilst my Christmas lights are still on, today I want to finish my temperature blanket. Then I hope that I will manage. And after I do the border, I need to remove all of these progress keepers and it will be all, I hope. <laughs> so I'll go find the yarn and start working. You guys, every time it rains, my dog and my cats are a bit anxious, so they will be even more in the camera than usual. It's okay. It's okay, babe. So, I have these three balls of yarns, which are my idea for doing this border. I don't know which one to choose. I want to keep save the gray because I have other gray yarns and I can add it to the mix, so... I'm less inclined to do that. I would use this color because it's my least favorite, but I think it's too much. I will not use it all and then I'll have again another leftover, so I'm inclined to use this. I decided to give it a go with this beige because I don't think I'll be using it in another project. So I started tackling the sides and adding all... and there are some... so. 
I don't know how to explain it. There are some long ends that I include in the crochet and after it's well secured I just cut it so we have such ends like this and this but I'm very I'm very okay to cut it because before I cut it it's tied to other knots and it is enclosed in my crochet I hope it's clear for future me because I will be the one coming back to these videos to do other ends as well so using the crochet first I tie it to other uh, end and then I add it in the crochet itself and I do one row thus far I'm planning to do more but this is the beginning so I did a round of single crochet and I tried to pull in together all the ends that I had left out and I just have to cut these and after the single crochet I did a double I'm now doing a double crochet and I hope that when I block the blanket it will stretch out and it will look nicer than it looks now that's my progress I'll see you later I've been waiting for a year to show you my temperature blanket hold on hold on are you ready celebration time come on da 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 yoohoo it's not ready y'all i still need to work on this side as you can see it has the ends that needs to be weaved in but here i did it so i will be working on this today right now as a matter of fact you guys one side is finished there it is i have it here i'm so happy and it reminded me so much that i used to crochet i love crochet i want to do that more often and i have here the ends that i had to cut off i love it so much I wanted to measure it to see what are the dimensions thus far and of course Nikita had to come into the frame so I have 125 centimeters by 140 140 centimeters and this is pre-blocking because I have the impression that it will expand after blocking so it's not that big actually you guys I don't know why I imagine it it would be bigger longer at least so for comparison, I have here to the left the temperature blanket for my birth year. And it's longer, you guys. And I actually had a freak out moment. I thought that maybe in this 2023 edition, maybe I missed a month or two or something. Mm -hmm. So I went back and I checked everything and it's all 12 months. And then I realized that this has the weaved basket stitch and this tends to spread because it has knits and pearls, whilst this is mostly garter stitch. So imagine garter is more compact and compressed, but there it is. <laughs> and uh, okay, I will stop fooling around and I will work on the second edge, you know, to clean up all of these loose ends and to finally remove the progress stitches, the progress keepers, which are all lost earrings and such. And then just maybe wash it, you know, block it and enjoy it, of course. Here I decided to do the ceiling challenge, so I put my phone into the light bulb and I wanted to spread out the blanket on the floor so that you can see it, you can see the entire view so that I can enjoy it, you can see my dog to the left. But the quality of the image is not very good. You guys, I finished it. There it is. My temperature blanket for 2023. I did the final measurements. I am stretching it. I'm starting to style it, to put it on my couch. Of course, my cat is jumping on it. But there it is. This is a close-up of the border that I made. Single crochet and then a double crochet with a beige color. You guys, this is it. I want to say a few details about my temperature blanket because this will be the uh, closure time for the temperature blanket. So I used this uh, temperature chart 
I made this temperature chart in November of 2022 because I was planning to do a temperature blanket for my birth year. And I just reused the same uh, colors and the same temperature ranges. So I scheduled to use 12 colors, all of this 11 plus a gr dark gray for the border. And I used 10 out of these colors because I never got to use the deep blue and the turquoise because we never had lower temperatures than minus four degrees Celsius. So the lowest we went was to light blue. Uh, what else? I used an additional color, this sparkly blue for temperatures uh, higher than 36 degrees and this was the hottest day of the year 28th of August we actually had uh, I used this uh, sparkling blue for other days as well when we had the 37 degrees uh, so here 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 so you can see this it's a deeper shade of blue what else I can tell you? Oh, I, I finally measured it. It weighs one kilogram and 65 grams. And it has uh, 135 centimeters by 140 centimeters. And I think that this will change with the blocking. Because the same happened with the previous temperature blanket. The coldest uh, temperatures were minus 2, minus 3 degrees Celsius. And it took me 17 minutes to knit one row but in order to obtain the garter rows as you know hold on my dog needs to be here as you know to obtain the garter bump you need to do one row and then back so this means that in actuality this could have been longer if I would have chosen other uh, pattern or other stitch but I wanted to try the uh, garter rows I also have, so I used a multitude of stitches. I started with uh, garter, seed stitch, knits and purl, garter, knits and purl, seed stitch, knits and purl, garter, and so on. Because I was unable to count my stitches if I was only doing garter or seed stitch. I needed some sort of way to count my stitches, so I decided to make these uh, knits and pearls and actually I like the fact that it gives it a textured look it gives it uh, these uh, columns these rows and I can use the blanket horizontally and vertically and it has rows either way it has the color rows vertically and horizontally it has these different pattern different stitches creating their own rows and I love it I love it so much my favorite thing about it is, of course, the uh, the constantly color change. And my least favorite thing about it, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it was getting heavier. Yeah, that was my least favorite. It was getting heavier and I couldn't move it. So I would always fold it in this corner and dump it on the other side of the couch. Uh, so that I can work uh, a row here and there. But otherwise, I enjoyed thoroughly this process. I really loved it. My hands are itching to do another temperature blanket for 2024. But at the same time, I think I should take it easy with so many <laughs> temperature blankets. I'm going to run out of space to display them. I have here the temperature blanket for my birth year, which is my favorite thing in the world. I did the weaved basket stitch, which is my favorite. It was the first uh, stitch or pattern that I ever learned. And it is to this day, it's my favorite thing. And this blanket is my favorite thing. It's always in that corner waiting for me to snuggle. So I don't know. I'm gonna think about if I should make another temperature blanket for 2024. I see a lot of creators already uh, started doing their um, granny squares or lines or crochet lines. I don't know. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. It was a long year, a year long process, a year long effort. And I put so much of my nights and my days into this blanket and I'm so happy that it's finished and that I can enjoy it, display it and use it. As you can see, my dog is already here. Sorry, sir. Can you please leave the frame? 
Anyways, what I wanted to say is thank you so much for for being with me in this journey. I enjoyed it a lot. I posted a lot. I know many of you found my channel because of the shorts I did, uh, switching colors on my temperature blanket or uh, running out of uh, yarn or trying new things with the temperature blanket. So I want to thank you all for being with me. And I hope that you will join me tomorrow when is the last day of Vlogmas for me. It is the 40th day of Vlogmas. And I'll just gonna do, I am just going to do a chilled video tomorrow so that being said I want to say thank you all I have to be very careful how I, how I walk around here it's uh, crowded uh, thank you so much happy making happy knitting happy crocheting and let me know of course if you did a temperature blanket I already had a few people commenting that they also did such a thing and they love it other people hated it so let me know what is your experience and I'll see you tomorrow Bye-bye.